Now local advocates for Prop 1, that Proposition 1 that's going to be on the ballot, they are making their calls known to vote yes on the ballot November 5th. Natalie Kuchko attended today's news conference to learn more about this push. A proposition to expand the Equal Rights Amendment under New York State's Constitution, otherwise known as Prop 1. It would protect the reproductive rights for New Yorkers of all backgrounds, ethnicities, and genders. Our mission is to protect and provide health care and education that empowers individuals and families with respect, without judgment, no matter what. We are proud to support the Equal Rights Amendment to the New York State Constitution, um, or Prop 1, as it's also called, and we hope that voters across New York will join us in support of this. All New Yorkers deserve the freedom to control our own lives, futures, and health care decisions, including abortion. Advocates say Prop 1 will close loopholes in the state's constitution to ensure no New Yorker would be discriminated against. The League of Women Voters of Rochester is celebrating 100 years, their president speaking out on the measure. Our rights are on the line. We cannot afford to have our rights rolled back as they have been in so much of the United States. So we urge everyone to protect our rights, all our rights. Opponents, however, feel Prop 1 would have harmful effects on women and girls, citing the topic of sports specifically. In part of a statement, State Senate Republican Leader Rob Ortz said, quote, New York Democrats are using this measure to push an extreme agenda that undermines fairness and common sense and strips parents of their rights. We need every voter to step up, get to the polls, and protect the future of girls sports and parental rights by voting against Prop 1. Supporters disagree, calling this misinformation and continue their push ahead of Election Day. By flipping your ballot on Election Day and voting yes on Prop 1, you have an opportunity to be part of ensuring that no New Yorker can be discriminated against no matter who they are, where they come from, or who they love. And for more resources and details on the Prop 1 campaign, you are asked to visit nyequalrights.org. Of course, our previous reporting on Prop 1 can also be found on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Reporting in studio, Natalie Kuchko, News 8.